Right, I'll try again. Armed with a coffee. I've escaped into the cubby hole. I just had to let the dogs in because they were crying at the door. I've got the door shut because Harry's on Fortnite. It's all going on, but I've got my little escape here. Hopefully you guys are all safe and not driving each other up the wall if you're in the house together as a family. But anyway, just thought I'd knock up a quick video on removing objects out of images. I've got three examples here. Obviously they're sport examples, but you could do the same thing with landscapes if you've got tourists that have not ruined a landscape shot, but you know, instead of instead of having to wait half an hour or something for tourists to, to move through your frame or whatever if you're doing some landscape shots or whatever just thought I'd knock up a quick video on how I remove objects from frames so let's get started oh, quick sip of coffee first lovely right I use content aware the spot healing brush and the clone stamp so let's open this first image which is a cricket image I've got a pair of legs that are annoyingly in the top half of the frame as you can see there so we're going to go for the content aware first it's a cracking little tool that uh, Photoshop have got so you hit the L key and it gives you the lasso tool so we're just going to draw around these legs tight as you can I'm going to leave that shadow for the minute we'll come back to that shadow in a minute back up his other leg across the frame and join the lasso and then it's a simple step Shift and delete brings up the content to where. Oh, before I do that, just double. Let's just cancel that. Just double check that your feather is at zero pixels. Make sure that's at zero pixels. Right, back to shift and delete together brings up your content to where box. This is all standard, so we no need to set anything in here. Hit the OK button and let Photoshop do its magic. And there we go. He's gone. All the legs have gone. So Command and D or Control D gets rid of the lasso. Now you can see it's left, although it's a great little system, it has left a bit of a line there that you can see. So I'm just going to hit the S key which gets brings up the clone stamp. I'm going to check that it's fairly soft so I've got 10% of hardness which is quite a soft stamp so that's good, that's okay that. Now I'm just going to bring some grass from about here and if you hit the Alt key that gives you your target area so that's where I'm going to take the the clone from so I'm going to hit click I'm going to click that take it across there and because it's nice and soft it's just going to get rid of that line for me there we are and it's gone and we can probably take a little bit of the shadow away if we like as well so let alt take that stamp from there and just move that I'm just going to go across here because you can see it's duplicated a little shape there like a little clone tool so I'm just going to clone stamp so I'm just going to go to sort of this area here which is quite let's go there light, light area hit the alt key that's my target area Take it to there. And just give that a bit of there. Actually, that's just. I'm just gonna. If you want to rewind, Alt, Command, and Z it just takes it back. So let's just try a different area. Let's just go for there. See if that's a little bit darker. Just to hide that bit. That's okay. Right, so I'm going to hit the L key again, back to the lasso, let's get rid of this shadow. Again, over to the edge of the frame, back round again, round, 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 join her up, shift, delete, brings your content aware, hit enter, and that's that gone. Command D to get rid of the lasso, jobs are good and no one would ever know there's been a big pair of legs there and a shadow. Again, I'm just going to hit the S key to bring the clone stamp back up. I'm just going to take a bit of grass from here, just dab it along there a bit. Jobs are good. Let's just take. So I've got three objects the same there. Let's see this. So I'm just going to take a bit of grass from there and just get rid of that middle one. That's a bit better. And get your cool clone tool again and just take that there and that'll do us. That's fine. Happy with that. Right, that's that one done saving that right this one really annoying all day at uh, this is uh, where's this Goodwood this is good uh, Goodwood uh, races obviously you've got this massive screen that's there it's there all day that screen so it's going to be in every single frame on the finish any any images that I do with the finish that screen and this crane is going to be there the TV crane so what I'm going to do is this is a simple one this so L for the lasso tool Let's just draw around that nice and tight, down the side of the screen. 
down that secondary screen or it's a box or something around that back up there let's take the crane as well we'll go around the crane so I'm doing it a bit slack really you can do it a lot tighter if you take a bit more time over it around there join that up shift delete hit enter let it do its magic jobs are good and look at that it's replaced that screen with trees now let's I'm just going to zoom in still got that area here so let's get the clone tool so back on the S key Let's take some trees from over here. Target area is there. Hit Alt and then just bring some trees across. Smash in. Just going to narrow down the clone stamp. Just put one bit of tree in there, look. And I'm probably going to do the same with that white spot over his cap. And that's it gone. And now this is a bit prominent as well, so let's just put a bit of tree on that. Jobs are good. Isn't? Zoom out again, 100% better. Brilliant tool this is. Right, last one. Let's not save that. Right, we've got a Bamayang here. I think this was the winning goal. Great celebration right in front of me. But you've got Granite Xhaka just moving into frame. Obviously, he's going to come and celebrate with the Bamayang. So let's have a go at moving him. Moving him. So back on the L key. Let's draw around Granite. Sorry, Granite, but I don't want you in my frame. <laughs> So around there, around there, around there. There's also a player behind him as well. So I'm just gonna leave it there and take them legs out as well. Just draw around it best you can. Around there. So you can do it a bit tighter than this. You've got a bit more time. Right, shift, delete, enter. See your granite jacker. And there we are, command D and he's gone. And because this is already out of focus and soft, obviously that should say Premier League like this, but no one's going to be looking at that. Let's just zoom in. Just have a look at that and just double check. Probably an area here, so I'm going to hit the clone stamp, hit S. I'm going to reduce it on the left hand, the left bracket. Just going to take a bit of orange from there. Just stamp that a bit. And then probably here as well, so we'll just take a little bit of colour from there. Just stamp it across. Take a bit of grass away. Job's a good zoom out. Spot on, you'd never know. Now then, we've also got Jacker's shadow just there. So L key. Start it there, draw it round, back and down. Shift. Delete, enter, spot on. Jobs are good. And while we're at it, let's get rid of these stewards. Sorry, stewards, but you get in the way quite a lot. So I'm going to get my own back now and remove you. <laughs> let's go along the board. Just anything that might draw your eye away from the main subject. Jobs are good. And shift, delete, enter, gone. Spot on. Now, obviously, it's left this little bit of this railing here so let's just go clone stamp hit the bracket get a little bit bigger alt and then just clone stamp over that I'm sure you guys all know about clone stamp anyway the jobs are good then let's take that out right that's that area done nicely I say this writing it's not perfect but you if you're going to get really fussy, you could also you could you could always go into there again, and you could mess about with the the pinks a bit. Take the clone brush right down. Take a bit of purple or pink from there, and just go over that a bit. Let's just make the brush a bit the clone stamp a little bit bigger so we get half black, half pink in. Just touch that up. So you can mess about with that to the heart's content. You could even colour this in if you wanted to. You know, make that square again. But once we zoom out, you're never going to tell anyway. Just got to remember, try and think of anyone coming in the room to ask them what you've done. You know, let's just take that split down there, obviously where the board is. Go out. Yeah, that's okay. 
Right, this floodlight here. Now I'm going to use the spot healing brush for that one. Let's make it a little bit bigger with the right hand bracket. Hover it over your area you want to get rid of. One click, healed. Just as another example, a couple of fans look with white on. Hover it over, click, gone. Right, and the last one, back to L key for lasso. Let's get rid of the keeper. So round there, round there. Again, not being very accurate. Shift, delete, enter, gone. Command D, there we are. So it's really quick, really easy. I love the content aware tool. So lasso round it, and then if you need to touch anything up, you can use the clone stamp, just nice and generally, not in all one clump, but um, just dabbing it like I did on that grass on the cricket, just to finish off what your content aware's done. So content aware really is for the large objects, like you saw on the screen in the, in the racing. So uh, hopefully guys, that's given you a few tips on how to remove stuff quickly. So it wasn't until recently that I even knew the content aware existed. So, so we're always learning, every day is a learning day, so hopefully that's helped you out a bit guys anyway. Like I said earlier, I hope you're staying safe, look after your family, and we'll get through this in the end. Build yourself a little cubby hole like this to escape in, <laughs> just to go through images and whatever. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, it'd be great if you could give it a thumbs up, awesome if you could hit that subscribe button, stay safe, catch up soon. Cheers. <laughs>